Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Mr. Coffee 10 cup optimal brew coffee maker. So it has a clean light and that clean light comes on automatically after 90 brews. So there's two ways of getting it to go out. You can unplug the machine for about five to 10 minutes and it will reset that timer, but it is a good idea to descale it. So if you, if you actually do the cleaning descaling cycle that the machine has built in it the descale or the clean light will go out so this thing has a descaling mode so is your coffee not tasting as good is your coffee maker not as hot as it used to be and is it taking a lot longer to brew your pot of coffee these are all signs that it may be time to descale your coffee maker you're gonna have to give yourself about an hour hour and 15 minutes to do this but the nice thing is it does have a um, a built-in timer that runs the cleaning cycle for you and it will beep at you to let you know when it's done so for the first 45 minutes you can get it started and then you can do some stuff while it's, it's doing the cleaning cycle okay make sure this is empty okay it will overflow if, this, if you left coffee in here so make sure that's empty make sure your water reservoir is empty we need to remove the water filter so over here Here's the water filter. I'm just gonna take this whole um, top part off. You don't need a coffee filter in, but you do need to put this back in. So just put this back in. I use distilled white vinegar. You can get the 64 fluid ounces from Walmart for a buck 50. So we're gonna use it full strength. They don't want you to dilute it with any water. We're gonna pour it into the water reservoir up to the six cup mark. Full strength uh, vinegar, right? And stop at the six mark. Okay, then we're going to come to the front of the coffee maker and simply just press the clean button. It's going to start a countdown timer. We don't need to press any other buttons. This light turns like a, a yellow and it kind of pulses. It turns like an orangish color and it kind of comes on and off. This light is on steady. So what's going to happen? So this is going to count down to zero. The coffee maker is going to turn on for a little while and then it's going to let it soak. It's going to turn off. So you may think it's not doing anything, but it wants that vinegar to soak inside the heating element. So the countdown's counting down. Now we're at 44. So you may be asking, why do we descale? So I've got this older Cuisinart that I took apart. I cut the sides off. Now, I don't know if this coffee maker is exactly the same, but I'm pretty sure most coffee makers kind of in this price range are a lot alike. So you got your water reservoir, and then you've got this heating element. I'm pretty sure this has a same type of heating element in there. So the water comes in, it gets heated, and this is an aluminum heating element. So over time, see I cut this open to show you inside that tube. Over time, hard water and different minerals and deposits will build up inside there, and it could block it off, or it could make your coffee not taste as good because it can't heat the water as efficiently as it used to. So the reason we're, we do this timer is, so it's gonna brew about half of that vinegar through the machine and then it's gonna let it sit. It's gonna like turn it off. It wants that vinegar to soak in here. And then it's gonna turn the machine back on and, and finish brewing the rest of the vinegar out. And we can kind of see the status of it. It's taking some water down. And you hear it going every once in a while. But at this point, you can go do something. It'll beep at you when it's all done with the cleaning. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes. The unit just shuts itself off. So if you forget about it, you can. it's not going to stay on or anything. It's ran all that vinegar through. Now we want to make sure that we empty this, this coffee pot. And we're going to have to wash this out with soap and water. It's really good because you're going to have some lingering uh, vinegar taste in there if you don't. And same with this water reservoir. I'm going to take this over to the sink. I'm going to clean it out with a brush and get all try to get all of that uh, vinegar that was in there out and get it all nice and clean and then I'm going to fill it up with fresh water. And same over here with the filter. So this filter basket area, it's got some leftover vinegar in here. I'm going to take this over and wash all this up with soap and water and get it nice and clean. Okay, so I've got everything uh, all cleaned up. I forgot to tell you, so after it finishes that cleaning cycle, the clean light should go out. So now we got to do just some uh, fresh water brews. We're going to make sure to put the filter basket in. We don't need the carbon filter in yet. We're going to leave this empty. 
I've got fresh water in here all the way up to the tin mark. And I'm just going to come over here and press the brew button now. Brew now. And that's going to take about eight to nine minutes to brew that full pot of coffee. And it'll beep at you when it's done. And then we're going to throw it away. And then we're going to do a whole nother pot. Fill this back up with water and do a whole nother pot and, and dump the water away. You may have to do three fresh water rinses, but most of the time, two fresh water rinses will get the vinegar out of your coffee maker. You want to make sure and get the vinegar out. It does kind of leave a bad aftertaste if you don't get it all out. So two to three pots of fresh water rinsing should do the trick. If you've got any questions on how to descale this or anything about this coffee maker, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. I hope this video helps. And if you could, please like and subscribe.